Welcome back to the video tutorial to the Dino Leon for this channel. Be sure to like. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, Sharpie, or crayon. Now I'm gonna start with drawing his eyebrow with a curve line across and diagonally up to the right right there. Repeat that same diagonal curve line again at this lower point. At the ending point on the right, turn it upwards. And at the ending point on the left, turn it diagonally up to the left. Below that whole thing on the left, curve line across to the right. And I'm gonna turn it further away from the upper line. Turn it upwards at the outer corner and slightly to the right. Below that eyebrow, I'm gonna draw the eye of the dinosaur from the right corner. Curve line downwards, diagonally to the left. U curve line to the left side of the eye. Turn it diagonally upwards with a curve line to the left. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw a semi oval shape on the top left corner. Right there. Above the eyebrow on the right, I'm going to draw the top of his head with a curve line across to the left. Turn it diagonally downwards to the left at that point. Above that line in the middle, curve line upwards and slightly to the right. Semi circle turn back downwards diagonally to the right at that corner. On the right side of that, I'm going to repeat that same set of shape again and slightly smaller at that corner. And at the inner corner of his eye, slightly below, curve line diagonally up to the left at that point. Semis could turn to the left with a curve line across. Semis could turn downwards at the front tip of his snout. Curve line downwards. Semis could turn to the right with a curve line at that corner. On the right side of that shape, I'm going to draw at this lower point an arch curve line to the right. Turn it diagonally down to the right. Curve line across to the right and slightly downwards. Sharp turn to the left with curve line. Turn it further away from the upper line. Turn it slightly up on the left corner. An arch curve line across. Semi skirt turn downwards and turn it to the right. Below that set of line, I'm gonna draw the teeth with a curve line diagonally down to the right from the left corner right there. Semis could turn back upwards on the right side. Repeat that same shape of the teeth again on the right corner right there. And another one on the right side of that. On the left side of that whole thing, I'm going to another teeth with a curve line downwards on the left side right there. Semis could turn diagonally up on the right side. For the back part of his head, I'm going to draw on the right side of his eyebrow, diagonal curve line downwards to the right, extend it downwards, turn it slightly inwards at the lower point, semi turn to the left, curve line upwards and slightly to the left to the inner corner of his mouth. Inside of his helmet on the right corner, I'm going to draw an oval shape on the dinosaur's cheek, right there. And below his helmet, at the lower right corner, I'm going to draw the right side of his face with diagonal curve line across to the left at that corner. Turn it outwards with a curve line. Turn it upwards to the lower part of that teeth right there. Inside of his face, I'm going to draw his mouth from the left corner. Curve line across to the right and slightly up. Same is going to turn downwards. Curve line diagonally across to the left and slightly down. Same is going to turn back upwards with the curve line. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw his upper teeth from the left corner. Short line downwards. Semis could turn with a curve line across to the right. Semis could turn upwards on the right side. 
on the left side of his face I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line upwards to the left at that corner for the left side of his helmet now for his nose drill above the lips I'm going to draw on the left corner diagonal curve line upwards to the left semi and downwards from the ending point on the left and arch curve line to the ending point on the right at this lower point mirror the same shape of the nose drill on the right side of his snout and bigger on the right corner right there above the snout on the left curve line diagonally up at that corner turn it downwards on the right side below his head on the left a short line downwards at that corner and on the right side of his head curve line across to the right and slightly down semi so turn up and back diagonally to the left and slightly up curve line downwards on the right side of that shape turn it diagonally down to the left curve line across to the left and slightly up semi so turn diagonally down to the left turn it downwards at the front point of his outfit flare it back out with the curve line below that and on the right side of that I'm going to draw his shoulder with an arch curve line below the collar right there extend it downwards on both sides and on the right side I'm going to extend it further down to his elbow point same as it to the left on his elbow point for the inner line of his arm I'm going to draw a curve line across above that line at that point at the ending point on the left curve line downwards from the top flare it out to the left and back to the right at the lower point and above that line an arch curve line across to the left at that corner mirror that same arch curve line at the lower point of his wrist curve line upwards and flare it slightly out to the left curl it back inwards to the right at the upper corner on the left side of that at the upper corner diagonal line across to the left and slightly down an arch curve line to the left semi so turn downwards on the left side of that diagonal curve line downwards to the left at this upper corner semi so turn to the right on the right side of that shape from the upper corner I'm going to draw a curve line across to the left semi so turn down turn it diagonally down to the right across to the right and slightly down semi so turn diagonally up to the right on the left side of that whole thing from the upper corner curve line diagonally down to the left semi so turn diagonally upwards to the right on the right side of that ending point curve line downwards and to the left semi so turn back diagonally up to the right Above his wrist right there, I'm going to draw a short line upwards on the right corner across to the left and turn it downwards On the left side of that, curve line diagonally up to the left an arch curve line across to the right and up turn it downwards Above that ending point, a line out to the left and slightly up curve line downwards flare it out to the left and curl it back inwards to the right Above that line, an arch curve line across to the left at that corner Curve line downwards, flare it out to the left and curl it back to the right Same as turn to the right On the left side of that whole thing, curve line out at this upper corner to the left Turn it diagonally up to the left and same as turn down Curve line downwards, same as turn to the right Turn it downwards across to the right and slightly down turn it diagonally up to the right on the left side of that whole thing at the upper corner curve line diagonally down to the left at that point semi so turn to the right at the lower point below that 
curve line downwards and slightly to the left at that corner, turn it across to the right. And at that ending point, diagonal line downwards to the left. And on the right side of that, a diagonal line downwards to the left at that corner. For the back part of his outfit, below the collar on the right, curve line downwards, flare it out and semi-scaturing to the left. And from that point, curve line across to the left. Continue that line across on the other side of the hand, on the left right here. And below that whole thing on the right, curve line downwards and flare it out. Turn it back inwards at the lower point. A line across to the left. Below that, on the right corner, curve line downwards and flare it out to the right. Curve line across to the left all the way to the outer corner of his wrist. And below that, on the right, a triangular shape at that corner. And another similar triangular shape at this lower right corner. In between those two shapes, a line across at this middle point. Continue that diagonal line on the right side, downwards, curve line across to the left and slightly down. Turn it diagonally upwards to the left, curve line upwards and slightly to the right. On the right side of that line, curve line diagonally down to the right, turn it outwards to the right. Below the tail, I'm going to draw in the middle point, curve line across to the left and slightly down. Turn it upwards diagonally to the left. And above that ending point, curve line downwards, slightly to the left. An arch curve line across to the left. Short line diagonally up to the left. Curve line upwards and slightly to the right at that corner inside of his shorts from the left corner at the lower point I'm going to draw an upside down V shape at that corner turn it across to the right and slightly up repeat that same set of line again slightly above that whole thing and above that a line upwards from the right corner on the right side of that below the tail diagonal line downwards to the left Slightly to the right side of that, another similar line at that corner. Below his short, I'm going to draw his legs on the left, curve line downwards at that corner. Turn it sideways to the left and semi turn downwards. Curve line across to the right. Turn it upwards and slightly to the right. Turn it diagonally inwards to the left and up. For his right leg, Curve line diagonally down to the right at the inner corner, right there. Curve line diagonally down to the left. Across to the right. Turn it upwards on the right corner. Semi turn diagonally up to the left. Now on his helmet, above his eyebrow, I'm going to draw an oval shape at that corner. And another oval shape at the back of his head, at that point. And below his head on the right, a line across to the left at that point. And finally, I'm gonna draw a thick line along the outer edges. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time!